today for this timeless pick a card so today's pick a card is all about what lies are you telling yourself what are you telling yourself what are you believing about yourself that just isn't true that is the furthest from the truth of who you really are to your core so for pile one we had the queen of wands feel free to pause the video to choose your pile Pile two, we have the death card. And last but not least, we have the high priestess. Those are your piles, and I will see you there. Bye. Hello, pile one with the queen of wands. We are going to figure out what lies are you believing about yourself? What falsehoods are holding you back? from being your most confident self. So off the bat with the Queen of Wands, I can go ahead and tell you that I feel like you feel that you're too much, that your energy is too much, that you're too fiery. Um, you bring too much to a situation with your mind, with your thoughts, the way that you talk, just the way that you hold yourself. Maybe other people have made you feel like you're too much to handle, but it's a lie. You're absolutely amazing just the way that you are. I feel like you're just not around the right people who know how to handle someone who actually has personality, who actually has power. You could intimidate others, and this could come off as you're annoying, like the way that they project onto you, that maybe you feel like you're annoying, but you're not. I feel that these people just usually don't encounter people like you. They could encounter people who, you know, act mature because they're quiet, because they stay to themselves. But that's not you, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the way that you are. What lies does Pyle One believe about themselves? What falsehoods is Pyle One telling themselves? Thank you, Spirit. What lies is Pile 1 telling themselves? What falsehoods does Pile 1 tell themselves? You may believe that your independent nature is too much, that you're too independent to have loving connections, to have close connections, but it's not true. The devil card. I feel like you are a very taboo person, inside and out. Yeah, with the king of wands on the back of the deck, you have BD, um, BDE, B, big <laughs> D energy. Even if you're a female, you have BD energy. And you know how to take lead you know how to be in control of situations you may feel that your need to control is toxic and I feel like people can view you as a temptation as um, someone that could get them in trouble but it's not true you're just a taboo person. The way that you live your life is different than other people. You can feel like this is a negative trait about yourself, but it's not. What lies does Pile 1 believe about themselves? What lies does Pile 1 believe about themselves? Okay. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Pile one, 
I feel like you tell yourself that you're not a good romantic partner. You're not a good romantic option for others because of your independent nature, because you don't like, you like your space. You like to spend time with yourself, but this is not a negative aspect. I feel like you feel that maybe you're a heartbreaker because maybe you get into relationships with people that can't handle all of your energy, so therefore you pull back and you push people away because you don't want to hurt them or you don't want to get hurt. You keep your heart very close to yourself because you don't think that people can handle you, but it's not true. You deserve love, pile one. Just like anyone else, just like anyone who is very soft and loving, you also deserve that soft, loving nature from other people. I feel like you really tend to hold yourself back because you feel that you're just too much. But that's not how you meet the right people. That's not how you align to your soul tribe whenever you hold back because other people make you feel like you're weird, unique, in ways that is not acceptable, but you are acceptable. The right people will understand you. What lies does Pio 1 tell themselves? What lies is Pile 1 telling themselves currently? Oh. Too many cards, Spirit. Too many. What lies is Pile 1 telling themselves right now? You could th feel like you're too indecisive to make the right choices. But I feel that it's just the fact that you have so many aspects to yourself. You have so many different ideas that you don't know where to go. So therefore, that holds your, you hold yourself back from making moves to go a certain path. there's a fear of choosing the wrong path but I feel like your intuition is very strong that you're not going to choose the wrong path I feel like there's a lot of paths that you could go down that is going to lead you to success that is going to fulfill you and that you shouldn't limit yourself to one path you can take multiple paths you know it's kind of like having multiple lives in one life. I just feel like you have so much to you that you yourself can handle taking more than one path. You can handle taking all the paths that you desire and be successful within that. What lies is Pyle one telling themselves right now? And you could feel that um, that people only want you for your sexual energy, for your body, but it's not true. That might be why another reason that you tend to stay to yourself because you have so much sexual energy and it radiates and pulls people in who only have those kind of intentions. But it's not true because really sexual energy is very healing. Um, you yourself could heal yourself and others with your sexual energy. And I feel that you shouldn't have such a negative viewpoint on that aspect of yourself. 
because within lust there can be love found but it's up to you to use your discernment and your intuition about what's lust and what is a mix of lust and something real something that's real in the heart space judgment with the two of swords yeah i feel like you tell yourself that you're not decisive that you can't trust yourself you can't trust yourself to make the right judgments of where to go what path to take what people to trust with the two of swords i just feel like you feel that you don't see things clearly and that's a lie I feel like you, um, you listen to your intuition correctly, but you second guess yourself. There's just a lot of fear around doing the wrong thing. Yeah, with the nine of swords, this gives you anxiety, having to make decisions out of fear that you're going to make the wrong decision, but it's not true. And like I had told you, um, you can take multiple paths. You don't have to stick to, you know, just one mundane path. You are a very unique individual. And it's important that you acknowledge this about yourself, that you don't shun yourself away from society, from people, just because you are such a dynamic person. You could feel like you have multiple personalities, and you could. And that doesn't have to be a negative thing, Pile One. That makes you one of a kind, in my opinion. With the lovers. And the high priestess and the Queen of Cups. Pile one, you could love love and feel like this is a negative aspect of you. You could have you could feel love towards multiple people. You could feel love you could be into dating multiple people at once and you could feel like this is a negative aspect. Like you're gonna be seen as um a W H O R E S L U T, but who gives a fuck? Um, honestly, because if that is what makes you happy, if that's what makes your heart happy, and you're such a dynamic person to where you, you can keep up with that, then there's no reason to feel shame for being your true self. What lies? Honestly, you could just tell yourself that you're a bad person and it's not true you're just a very dynamic person and people probably tend to not understand that and paint you out in a bad light that's not even true so therefore you start to believe that about yourself and it's not true with the two of cups Again, I just feel like you lie to yourself and tell yourself that you're not, that you wouldn't be a good loving partner for someone and it's not true. You're just a very different dynamic person and you deserve love just as someone else who honors um, monogamy and all that good stuff. All of that normal stuff. You deserve the same, just in a different light because you're different. With the Five of Swords, you could feel guilty for feeling this way. You could feel like you are stabbing people in the back with the Five of Pentacles and the Moon. Yeah. You could feel very passionate about people and then lose it very quickly. And this makes you feel guilty about the moves that you make because you don't want to hurt anyone. You're a very genuine person. So my advice for you is just to just to be honest, like straight off the bat, be honest about who you are and what kind of person you are and what you're looking for. 
if you're honest, there's no room for there to be betrayal, for there to be any reason for someone to paint you out in a bad light just because you're different. Absolutely. You are unique, you're charming, just very free spirit, pile one, and there's nothing wrong with that. Be your true self, be your authentic free spirit. Free spirited self is beautiful, okay? That was your reading. Um, let me know if it, if it resonated in the comments. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Hello, pile two with the death card. Welcome to your pile. So, what lies are you telling yourself? What is holding you back from being your most confident self? So, with the death card, I can go ahead and tell you. Um... You could go through a lot of death and rebirth, a lot of spiritual awakenings, a lot of transformations, and you could feel like this is a negative aspect of yourself because you're always changing. You're not staying in stagnant energy. You're not staying in a stable kind of energy because you're constantly growing and constantly evolving and constantly losing connections because you outgrow them. But this is not a negative aspect to you. This is just your current. Maybe this is just um, what you're destined to experience in this lifetime. Constant transformations. Constant changing. You're not meant to just stay the same person that you were 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 5 months ago. And you could feel guilty for having to leave people behind, for having to uh, cut people off because you outgrow the energy. But this is not a negative aspect. What lies is Kyle 2 currently believing about themselves? What lie is Pile 2 telling themselves? What lie is Pile 2 telling themselves? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What lies? Is Pile 2 telling themselves? Yeah, Eight of Cups. I feel like you've had to walk away from a lot of things in your life. And you could feel that the fact that you don't have, maybe you don't have long-term connections around you because you've had to outgrow. You've had to move. And you could feel bad about this, that you don't have, you know, a friend group that you've had since high school. You don't have close-knit connections around you. But that is just comparing. Hey, chill. That is just comparing your story and your experiences to others who are not on your same path. You're different, Pile 2, and that's okay. It's okay to be different. It's okay not to be, you know, a basic, mundane person. <laughs> you be crazy. You be crazy. Mrs. Pepper. What lies is Pile to believing about themselves? What are you doing, chill? <laughs> do that stop chill thank you eight of swords with the magician and the queen of swords you can feel like you're a very cold person because you don't ever want to stay in this stagnant energy of the eight of swords like once you start feeling suffocated you're immediately like, I gotta get out. And you could feel like this is bad because people around you could make you feel like 
you're uncommittal. Um, like you're not a stable person. You're not someone that they can rely on. But that's just not who you are. Maybe you're not committal. And that's okay. That's completely okay. Because with the magician, I feel like you have a very deep spiritual understanding of what death and rebirth is. What letting go is. Having to close doors to open a new door. You just have a very deep spiritual understanding of your life. Of how you are as a person. You know your core self. And people can make you feel like you're always changing, but it's not true. Like, you you are an authentic person. You're just an alchemist. You know how to change. You know how to grow. And whenever we are focused on evolving and becoming our best selves, we tend to put ourselves first. And that could come off as selfish, but it's not selfish, Pile 2. Yeah, with the King of Swords coming out, people could tell you that you're very cold. People could tell you that you're very focused. But you're being called to be that person. And I wouldn't say that you're cold. You just move from a head space instead of a heart space. You make logical moves instead of Moving with emotion. Too many. What lies does Pyle to believe about themselves? With the two of pentacles and the hanged man and the five of swords. So you make moves, like I had said previously, you make moves off of spiritual knowing, off of your inner compass. And people could feel like you're always up in the air. They don't know if you're going to stay or you're going to go. And I feel like you could come off as very nonchalant. As in your own world. And you could feel like this is a negative aspect. Because people want you to continuously engage with them. But it feels like a lot of projections. A lot of how... People want you to be instead of accepting you for who you are. What lies does Pyle to currently believe about themselves? What lies does Pyle to currently believe about themselves as a truth that's not a truth? That you're hard to get along with. That you are argumentative. Yeah, with the devil card. And the knight of pentacles. The fact that you would do anything to get where you would want to be. I feel like it's not true. Because I feel like you do take in consideration of other people's feelings. Of how they would react towards you. How they would feel about your actions. You do take that into consideration. But people can make you feel as if you only care about yourself. But it's just not true. You do have a heart pile too. Don't let people tell you that you aren't a loving person. I just feel like you will speak up when something needs to be said. If someone is trying to cross your boundary or treat you... In any way that you shouldn't be treated, you're going to speak up. If someone's coming at you toxic, honestly, you're go probably going to meet them with that toxicity. You're probably going to put them in their place. And people kind of fear you. Honestly, especially with the devil card. They can see you as very revengeful. And you might be. But I feel like you have reason to be. You feel that you have reason to be revengeful? And maybe you psych yourself out. Like, maybe I shouldn't have blown up like that. Maybe I shouldn't have came off so um, argumentative, cold. And you tell yourself that 
it was out of pocket, but maybe it wasn't out of pocket, you know? Some people need to be put in their places. It just is what it is. Especially when they have comments on your life and who you are as a person. And trying to make you feel guilty for you, you doing you. With the Ten of Wands. You can feel like you're a burden on people and this is not true. You could feel like you're very burdensome. Like you're too much. You could have a very witchy aesthetic. You could be someone that would call themselves a witch and feel like you're shunned from society or that people look at you in a dark light. And honestly, I feel like they might look at you in a dark light, but the reality of that is that you're not dark. You shouldn't be shunned from society. So don't continue to shun yourself away from society just because people make you feel like you're different. It's good to be different. Pile two. It is a wonderful thing to be different. With the four of swords, you can feel like you're lazy. People may have told you, um, made you believe that you're a lazy person because you know how to rest, you know how to take breaks, you know how to just be, just to relax, to let yourself recharge, and this does not make you lazy. This makes you smart, in my opinion, because we can't just keep going and going and going without rest, without taking breaks. It's just not how it works. You could be someone who works smarter and not harder, and people kind of give you a hard time about that or make you feel a certain type of way about that, but keep doing you. All right, one more card. What lies is Kyle to currently telling themselves? What is holding them back from being their most confident self? All right, the chariot, again, that it's a negative thing that you move on. It's a negative thing that you're uncommittal. It's a negative thing that you're up in the air, that you're in your own world. Because what you're doing is overcoming your obstacles. You're overcoming your struggles. You're just so focused on forward movement and transforming. You could be a Scorpio um, or have prominent Scorpio placements. If not, disregard that. But you could be very passionate about transformation and cutting ties with things that no longer serve you. And this could feel burdensome to you because you've burnt so many bridges. But again, you're listening to your deep spiritual inner knowledge that only you are going to be able to understand. And that's completely okay. This is not a negative aspect to yourself. The fact that you keep moving on. Keep doing you, Pile 2, because you're on the right track. So yes, that was your reading. Let me know if it resonated in the comments. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Hello, Pile 3. Last but not least, welcome to your pile with the High Priestess. So with the High Priestess card, um... You could feel that your intuition is so on point that it could be a negative thing. You could feel like you know too much of the truth that is hiding behind darkness. You could honestly push your intuition away because... You really want to give people the benefit of the doubt or situations the benefit of the doubt. But I feel that the majority of the time, your intuition is very on point and you don't want to believe it. But you are a very intuitive person, Pile 3. And you could not like the things that you see, the things that you hear. Um, 
insights that you get, you cannot like it because it's too real. But this is a gift that you should embrace. It's a God-given gift that you should embrace, Pile 3. What lies is Pile 2 telling themselves? Or you could feel like your intuition is not right. That it's lying to you or pointing you in the wrong direction. And this is a lie. What lies? Does Pile 3 tell themselves? What lies is Pile 3 telling themselves currently? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you. What lies is Pile 3 currently telling themselves? What lies is Pile 3 telling themselves? And I also used tarot decks for the other piles, but for your pile, I felt really called to use the angelic um, oracle deck. And I feel like that's an omen just to prove that you are a very in touch person with the spiritual realm. You are very in touch. You are very in tune with the truth. And this could just feel like it's too much for you. Or that you're weird because you see things that other people don't see. You see truths that other people don't see. And that's why you could shun this gift that you have away. Because it makes you different. You are... Maybe people look at you in the past as being paranoid. Um, thinking too much. And that's a lie. They just couldn't handle the truth. Point blank period. Alright, so we got the Ace of Cups out here. With the Hermit and the Lovers. It says deep and lasting spiritual insights. You could be a very emotional person, someone who moves through their heart space, who has a lot of emotion. You could be watching movies and feel um, very moved by a movie. You know, just little things that make your eyes water. And this you can tell yourself that this is like embarrassing or it's not cool. <laughs> like, it's not, like you don't like being so emotional. But this is also a gift, Pile 3. I mean, yeah, Pile 3. That you feel, that you feel so much on a deep level. Because when you are a very emotional person, you have this strength and this ability to empathize with people, empathize with just life in general. Like that's a gift to feel. It's not a gift to feel numb. So it's important that you embrace your feelings, that accept that you're not too much. You're just a very spiritual, in tune person who feels life on a new, on a very deep level that others do not. This is not a negative trait, Pile 3. There's a lot of water energy out here. You could have a lot of water placements in your charts. If not, ignore that. All right, what's going on? What lies is Pile 3 telling themselves? The wheel. New beginnings and the delays. A change that offers happiness. Pile three. I feel like you have um, a lot of good karma coming your way. I know this is not like lies, but maybe you tell yourself. Maybe you feel really guilty, like you have a very 
heavy conscience to where, you know, the smallest things, like killing a fly, you could feel guilty. And maybe you really doubt the love that you give, the love that you have given to other people throughout your journeys. I just feel like you have a very heavy conscience and you're very hard on yourself. You are a good person, Pio 3, and I feel like you tell yourself that you don't have good karma coming your way, or maybe you have bad karma coming your way, and it's not true. You are a very loving person. So make sure you embrace that about yourself. Don't try to lie to yourself. And, um... Since you move through your heart space and you move from emotions, maybe you feel like you've stabbed people in the back before because instead of moving logically, you're moving from your heart space. So maybe you're in and out of connections or you've had a lot of connections, a lot of love connections in your past and maybe you feel like you're going to get bad karma for moving on or for being such a loving person to where you have a lot of past um, romantic partners, but it's not true. Like pile three, are you waiting on like something bad to happen? Because of how many people you've dated in the past or how many hearts you've broken because you move on? It's not true, okay? You're good. You deserve love just like everybody else, okay? The star, yes. Um, I feel like you feel like you're not special. You feel like you're a wreck, like you're a disaster, like you're all over the place. But maybe you don't understand the moves that you make or why you've chosen the path that you've chosen or the people that you've chosen. I just feel like there's a lot of confusion here. But what Spirit wants you to know is that you are a very healing person. You're a healer and you move through your emotions. Just like Pile 2, you're very spiritual. You're a very spiritual person and you're being guided. It's not just, you're not living this chaotic life. You're not living a disaster. You're being guided. And it always probably doesn't make sense because there's a deeper, a deeper reasoning on the spiritual realm, not the physical realm. There's just a deeper meaning to your life, Pile 3. You are the star. It's not meant to make sense. Again, it's not logical. It's from your heart, from your heart space. Pio three, you could feel like you could feel you could lie to yourself and tell yourself that you you are an opportunist. Because we have the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups, I mean Ace of Pentacles out here. You could feel like um, you use people or like people are always offering you things. And you could feel guilty for taking gifts, for receiving gifts, receiving energy, time from multiple people. And that's a lie. That's not true. I feel like spirit guides you to people who do gift you things for um, for following your true path. I feel like spirit leads you to people who just want to help you, who just want to, you know, see you happy. And that you should start receiving that with a grateful heart instead of feeling guilty. Instead of feeling like you're using people because you're not. 
what lies is pile three currently believing about themselves. What lies, what lies, what lies. That you're stuck and you're not stuck. That you self-sabotage and you don't. That you're not making the right moves when you are. Again, we're feeling guilty. There's a lot of guilt here in pile three. Just for you doing you. There's a lot of subconscious guilt for following your heart. Instead of being logical, you feel guilty for following your heart and you shouldn't because you're being guided by spirit. You're making the right moves. You are on the right track. And you feel guilty for being on the right track. And you definitely shouldn't, Pile 3. Be at peace. Yeah, with the Two of Cups. You can feel really guilty for being guided to leave people out. Being guided to move on from connections. You can feel really guilty about this because you have so many feelings. You feel things on such a deep level. But it's okay to let go, Pile 3. It's okay to learn your lessons and move on. To close doors, to open new doors. It's okay. It's okay to let go. Because... Whoever you're letting go of, whatever you're letting go of, is going to be okay without you. That's life. That's how life works. You could, have, you could feel guilty for having a mindset of the grass is greener. Because what if the grass is greener? You know? Because... It's not always going to be greener, but sometimes it is greener. And I feel like deep down in your spiritual knowing, in your heart, because you move through your heart space, and you feel the feelings spiritually, if something seems greener on the other side, it probably is greener for you because of your intuition, because of how deeply connected you are to the angels, to the spirit. Maybe you feel like you don't have a deep connection to spirit, but that's also a lie. With the Two of Cups out here and the High Priestess as your start card. Yeah. You could feel like you're just delusional. <laughs> like you're just making all these moves and you're kind of like leading your life down the wrong path. But you're not. You're not alone at all. Spirit is here holding hands with you, guiding you to the right people, guiding you to the right opportunities, guiding you to the next step. And you shouldn't feel guilty about that. And you shouldn't feel alone either. All right, one last card. Thank you. Seven of Wands with the higher font. A lie that you're telling yourself right now is just the fact that you're not protected. That you're out here just... raw dogging life right now and it's not true. You are protected. You are being guided. Your intuition is on point. And Spirit just wants you to really know, they're really emphasizing the fact that you need to understand the fact that you're being guided. You're not, you're not out here just winging life. So don't lie to yourself that you're just a mess when you're not a mess. You are a beautiful spiritual being. And it's time to embrace the fact that you are spiritual and deep and just wild. That's okay. Be wild. Live through your heart space. Live through your emotions. Because 
when we sell ourselves short and we don't live out our authentic truth, which for you is the fact that you have so many emotions and so, you're just so passionate about life and you feel things on a deep level, embrace that because it's not okay to go through life, go through our days feeling numb and not doing what lights our soul on fire. Okay, Pile 3? But that was your reading. Um, let me know if it resonated in the comments. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.